Hey guys, okay, welcome back. And I am so excited to be filming this video. This is actually probably my most favorite video to watch on YouTube. And I just love seeing what people have in their collections. I like hearing the background as to, you know, why they purchased it or why they kept it around. And I just think it gives great context as to the collection that you're building and why. And I also just love that I get to, you know, see where I'm at in a year from now and see if I added to my collection, if I downsized and how my styles have changed over time. So I'm so excited to be talking through my bag collection with you guys. So uh, if you're interested in seeing what it looks like this year in 2021, stay tuned. But other than that, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's get started. I thought it made the most sense to go by like history of my bag. So like the ones I've had the longest to the newest recent additions to my collection. So without further ado, my first bag is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM with the red interior. Oh my gosh. Okay. This bag I've had this bag for so long, it seems. This was my first designer designer bag, like my first real designer bag. And I got this, I think in 2013, 2014. I should actually look back. I still have the receipt for it. Um, I got this bag after I closed one of my first biggest deals at my first like big girl job. And I wanted to mark the occasion and buy something that I thought would be a good investment for like the long term, like for travel and because my job, like I had to go to meetings and things like that, just having something a little bit more elevated for work. And I've traveled with this bag. I've taken it to work every single day for years. I have loved this bag. I have not treated it the best, but as you can see here, I mean, it's actually in pretty decent condition for what it's been through. I mean, there's definitely some markings like in the bottom, but honestly, it's like still beautiful. It's patinaed really nicely. I love this color and I just think this bag has like paid for itself. <laughs> honestly, like price per wear, this bag has really paid for itself. I know that this is like the most, consider the most like basic bag, but it's really popular for a reason. Not only is the price point so great, it is truly an amazing bag. Obviously, like we all know like the struggle with carrying a lot of stuff in these straps, but I mean, for a first bag, I couldn't have done a better selection than the Neverfull MM. Okay, my next bag after the Neverfull MM is actually the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the traditional monogram canvas. Okay, so this bag I've had for a decent amount of time and I think we all know why. This has been like, this was like the first bag that I was like social media influenced to get. I had to have it. I just loved the way it looked. I loved the structure of it all and the details of it. And you know what? Like I know now I talk a lot about how like Vachetta is just like something I try to stay away from but it just looks so good when it patinas right. Don't you think guys? Like it's just such a beautiful bag and it is, honestly, it's rightfully a very popular bag. It has so much room inside the interior. And this is like, you guys always ask like how I store my bags. Like I always keep like little airbags in them to keep their shape. Um, and then I always store the strap in there as well. I mean, this bag, has that microfiber lining. It has held up so, so, so well. And if I can find the date code, I can tell you where and when. So it was made in the US. I don't know where the date code is, but I have had, and I hope I don't jinx myself. I haven't had 
no issues with the glazing on this bag. And I, you know, this is the only one I've ever owned. So I love this bag. It is just beauteous. And this is definitely, you can tell like I was really aiming for trendy bags when I was starting my collection, but I've had this bag for years and it is just something that I think I will end up holding on to for a while because it's just a classic, classic silhouette. It holds a lot and I think I just love this bag. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Pachette Matisse. I feel like I don't care too much about it anymore, but this was my second bag ever. Okay, next up, switching gears, we have the Super Mini Gucci Marmont in the black and aged gold hardware. So I did a whole video on Super Minis and what I think of them and how to wear them and all of that. So definitely check that out if that's interesting to you guys. But this was my next bag purchase and I remember exactly why. I was looking for a bum bag style bag that could be worn as like a going out bag. And so I stumbled upon a bunch of videos looking at what fits in here and I just needed to know if my phone fit. And if it fit, like it was a done deal. I needed to have this bag. So I've had this bag for a few years now and it definitely has gotten a lot of use. Um, you can kind of tell like the structure has given weight like a little bit just on the bottom, but that's the type of leather that this is. But I love this bag, it is so cute. I'm kind of teetering towards and possibly selling my super minis just because I tend to carry a little bit more with me now. And as you'll see from my other, from the rest of my bags in the collection, I have other bags that kind of fit the void that it would leave if I were to sell these bags. And it does not take away from the fact that I love this bag and it's gotten so much use. It is gorgeous. If you're on the fence, like the price point is there, it's perfect. Um, and it's held up so, so nicely. Look how beautiful. And it's just like getting softer with time. So I, do love this bag, but this was the next bag that I had acquired in my collection. Oh my God, every time I even think about this bag, I just like smile. And people always ask me to do reviews on it and I think I will do one next, but oh, okay. The next bag is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. I mean, look how cute. It is just like the absolute most adorable bag ever. I'm sorry, like name of a cuter bag. This is the just cutest bag. That's also the bag that fits the most. Like honestly, I, I don't know what it, what magic is in here that Louis Vuitton put in here, but it is a Mary Poppins bag. You can just like put a ton of stuff in here and it fits it all. And you can wear a crossbody and it has a little top handle and you can wear it as backpack. It's just like, honestly, it's perfection. I love this bag. And when I look at it, it just makes me so happy. Um, I will say this is the third Palm Springs mini that I've had in my collection. Uh, originally, I had the older style with the zipper that was not exposed. Um, there was a lip over the zipper um, that I actually, I really liked the look of it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the look of the exposed zipper, but you know what? It, it works, it, there's no issues. But I was getting a lot of rubbing with the original zipper and the like canvas lip that it was rubbing off the monogram. So I had to exchange it, they gave me another one um, and it did the exact same thing after a couple of months. So I ended up just like, waiting and holding off until the new version was available. And honestly, from the time that I had returned the defective zipper one to the time that I got this, it was like six months and I was just like missing this bag so much. I just cannot say more good things about this bag. Like I love it. I don't use the front pocket ever, but it has like, honestly, it's like stayed in pretty good condition. I mean, there's like a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but for how much I use this bag, like that's expected. Um, but the hardware still looks good. The zippers are still in great condition. The top handle looks great. I just love this bag. It's so freaking cute. 
Let me know your thoughts on this bag. Do you guys feel the same way about your Palm Springs Mini? I just like adore, adore. Okay, so the next two bags I actually got at the exact same time. So I'm going to go in order of like when I saw them for the first time. So the first bag, I guess I already saw it, okay, is the Louis Vuitton Empreant Noir Bum Bag. So this is the Louis Vuitton Bum Bag that is the leather version. So everyone's kind of seen that monogram canvas version. This one's a little bit smaller and it has a, I think they call it like a saffron or an orangey, type of interior and I do have my Samorga organizer in here to help keep its shape um, but adore this bag. This bag has been an instant staple in my collection. I grab it whenever it's raining. I grab it whenever I'm going on a flight. It has just been the cutest little like bag and I loved that not a lot of people had it and I'm loving that you guys have also been starting to like this bag as well. I know it's been like underrated, but it's truly like the nicest, softest leather. And it's just like a little understated, which I kind of wanted after all of the kind of logo mania I have on the other bags that you saw earlier. So I just like adore this bag. I also have a video on this bag, just diving into like how I wear it, different ways. I think there's like four or five ways that I wear this bum bag and none of them are like around the waist like you're supposed to. But I give you guys all my thoughts on it. Truly just a beautiful bag. And I really don't see this one going anywhere anytime soon. I've loved it so much that I've considered getting the monogram canvas one, but the Vachetta kind of scares me a little bit. Um, if you guys have the monogram one, will you let me know how the Vachetta is doing? Have you sprayed it? Let me know how it's like patinaing and whether or not I should get it. Or do you guys think that like the black and having one is just enough? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so after I saw that bum bag, I was in the store picking it up because I loved it. And my essay says, okay, are you in the market for a tote bag. And I had the Neverfull and I was just thinking about how I was using the Neverfull less because my job, I was going to more meetings and traveling and I just wanted something a little bit understated. So bear, bear with me, I know you, many of you are not gonna agree this is understated, but he brought out this bag and I had never seen it in person. I had seen one version of it, but I instantly like, I fell in love and I was like, I need to have this bag. So next up is the Louis Vuitton on the go. This is the GM. So this is the largest version in the black Empreant Noir leather. So it has the smaller LVs on one side and then it has the large monogram on the side. So I know I said it was a little bit more <laughs> understated than the Neverfull, but to me it is. Like unless you're up close to me, you can't really tell that it's LV, but you know, I still love the look and I love that it does say LV in the large monogram. It's not as loud. And then the inside is actually that orange color that is the same as the bum bag. So two similar looking bags, but completely different styles. And like I said, I had to have this bag. Like I saw it and I was just like, there's. There's the longer straps, which honestly fixed the issues that I was having with the Neverfull where I was carrying my laptop and my planners and I just, it was starting to hurt my shoulder. So, I mean, this is not the lightest bag, like even holding it up, like I'm like seeing some muscle building, but love this bag. It is just beautiful and it's held up so, so well. And I've done some stories on my Instagram for you guys as to like, what I've thought about other people's longevity of this bag, but I attest the ability to just say that this bag is over a year old and still looks as beautiful and as structured as the day that I got it because of my organizer. So this one's from Smorga, but if you guys have the on the go, you need an organizer. This will keep the shape of your bag forever. Like, look, I just took it out and look how smushy it already is. 
like this will make sure that your bag stays in as good condition as it possibly can for however long you guys have these bags. Just take care of them and make sure that they're staying structured and not getting all floppy because, you know, leather is leather. It's going to move around. It's going to get different shapes. But honestly, like this bag is just gorgeous and it, it still smells so good. So yep, yeah, that is the Louis Vuitton on the go in the GM. And I actually, I needed to have this size because I didn't see the MM until like a couple days ago in person. It is kind of like a lot smaller than I was expecting. Um, and it would not fit my laptop as comfortably as I would like it to. This one fits everything and I don't mind that it's a little bit larger and it's honestly, it's just like the look. So I dig. Let me know if you guys have a MacBook Pro and if it fits in your on the go. Um, I love all of the versions, but I love this type of leather so much. So that's the on the go. Okay, I need to take a sip. This is gonna be a long video. Okay. So next up, switching gears. Last year, I got this next bag and this bag I just did a video on, you guys will recognize it. It is another Gucci Super Mini. This is the Super Mini Gucci Dionysus version with the taupe or tan suede. Um, and it has an aged silver hardware. The inside is also like that pink microfiber lining. And I originally got this bag last year for weddings because I had a ton of weddings lined up and I just needed something that could be converted into a shoulder bag or just hold as like a little clutch with my phone and like an ID and some cash for just like not a lot and looked a little bit dressier than my other bags and just smaller. So the black one is a great version for nighttime, but for daytime and summer weddings, I thought this would be so cute with like a nice pastel colored dress or flowery dress. So that's why I opted for this one. It is definitely a little bit smaller than the black Marmont one, but if you want to know what fits and all of that, there's that video on the super minis and I will link it below so you guys can watch it. But that is the next bag in my collection. Okay. Switching gears again and taking a left turn. We have a bag that I wasn't planning on getting when I did, I actually made it a Christmas present to myself, but when it came up in my sights, and I actually bought this pre-loved online, it was in excellent condition, it was beautiful, and it was a look that I had my eye on for a long time. I just didn't know I was gonna buy it in like the Christmas time frame. And the bag is the Chanel Boy Bag in the black ruthenium hardware and i believe this is calfskin so it's not lambskin it's calfskin but it has a similar look it's just not i don't think it's as shiny as it looks pretty shiny in this video not as shiny as lambskin and then it's not grained like the caviar but this is the new medium size and i had always thought i would get the old medium size but i love this size honestly i think it is edgy enough and boxy enough that you can kind of pull off a larger bag and it fits a good amount. And I can't imagine having a smaller version of this bag. So as you guys will notice that I definitely don't have a classic flap in my collection and it's not on purpose. I've had a vintage one before, but I found myself not grabbing them as often because they were so delicate um, and I obviously, I think they're gorgeous. They're beautiful, but they're so expensive. They're so hard to get nowadays that I just don't see me being able to get my hands on a classic flap in the color that I'm looking for. So I will wait until the day that it happens for me. But for now, the boy bag just kind of fits my style. I just think it's a little bit more different than the classic flap. It's edgier and it honestly looks so good like at night with like some leather leggings and like an oversized sweater. You just throw this on and it's just so cute. And then I added this top handle from, I actually got this, it's like $8 on Etsy. Um, I just wanted something to just like grab 
it from when I'm like going from the car to the restaurant because I do love that like it has the shoulder strap but for me like a top handle is kind of essential especially when you're dealing with a bag that's a little bit more delicate style leather so definitely love this bag and I plan on doing a review for you guys on how I style it my thoughts on this one versus the old medium size but this bag I mean pristine and so cute okay switching gears again and again my next bag is a really recent addition you guys will have seen an unboxing of it semi-recently and it is the Saint Laurent envelope clutch pretty sure that's what it's called um, I had seen a couple of YouTubers talk about this bag. Um, it's obviously like a very slim, sleek style bag, but I was noticing that when I was running to dinners and I just had my phone and, you know, maybe like a set of keys, and I didn't want to carry a lot and didn't want to have to bring a bag and wanted something to like not have to worry about out to dinner. This was like a perfect option for me. And what I really, really, really like about this is that it slips into like my tote bags, my suitcases, my never full. Like this is something that I can just like tuck into a bag and have it just in case I run out. Um, it's obviously a like grained black color. So it's like, kind of worry free. And it just has like the YSL logo right on the middle. And it's magnetic, which is so great. Um, it actually fits a decent amount. I think I did a video of what fits on it on my Instagram. Um, and it fits like a phone, a key clay, a mirror, and I think like a card holder. So definitely check that out. But this was, yeah, a recent addition. I mean, it wasn't too expensive. I think I got it on either Sense or Farfetch and I didn't have to pay taxes on it. And it was just like a wonderful, like culmination of needing this style of a bag not having something like this and it just being the right price point. So I'm excited to use this in the future when I go on vacation and letting you guys know how it wears and all of that. Almost done guys. Okay, so my last bag and the most recent addition to my collection, um, actually got it last month, is the one and only Louis Vuitton Cousin bag in the cream color leather. And it comes with this beautiful, gorgeous gold chunky chain and a bandolier strap that is also like a beige taupey color. Um, it does have some bachetta on it, but it's already like a patinaed treated one. So. Oh, guys, I died for this bag. I, I don't know how everyone feels about it. I know everybody has like a cold or hot reaction to this bag. But if you know me, like this is me in a bag. Like slightly difficult, a little high maintenance, but different, a little edgy, pretty versatile. So, oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with this bag. I've been wearing it like with like workout clothes to run around and I'm just like loving it. It's just so stunning of a bag. I will definitely keep you guys posted on how it wears because this leather truly, truly terrifies me. I've never had a white bag and I'm like, just like so scared of what's gonna happen, but I've been pretty mindful about like what I wear, how I'm carrying it, you know, like the weather, all of that. So, oh my gosh, this bag, I saw it on the runway, um, on the runway Louis Vuitton show and I saw it being carried and it wasn't in this color but i just told myself if they make that in a white i need it i just need to have it um i texted my essay right away a photo of it and he was like i don't know if we're gonna get it but we can try so oh my gosh so beautiful and i'm curious to know if they like this if they will keep it as a bag in one of their lines or if they're just gonna make it a limited edition so um just love this bag i also did a review and first impressions and mod shots of this bag. So definitely check it out. I know I promised you guys like a what fits in it. So I will work on that as well. But if you're looking for any ideas on how to style this, definitely check out my Instagram. I 
post a good deal about it, but yes, oh my gosh. Newest edition, prized possession, love this bag. Okay, I know I said that that was the last bag in my collection, but we have a bonus entry because some people consider this an SLG, some people consider this a bag, but I wanted to include it because I wear it as a bag. And it's the Louis Vuitton Pachette Accessoire, and it's monogram with a Pachette tab. And this is actually how I usually just like wear it. It has my organized, my bag chain. Um, I'll leave a code below in case you guys are looking for something similar to this um, and you'll get a discount. But I wear this bag. I actually got this last year for my birthday. It was probably the hardest bag to get my hands on. Um, but I usually wear it, you know, during the day. This was my, my hopes for this bag were to wear it during the spring and summer with some denim and t-shirts and just like grab it and go and it fits like the perfect amount. And then in here it comes with a leather strap. And I actually, this is the most genius thing ever. Organize My Bag sells this clasp. It looks just like the Louis Vuitton one. And you can actually loop the leather part onto it. So you can easily just pop this on and pop it off and switch out the chains and all of that. So that is ingenious. And like I said, I will link both of these options below, but I wanted to include this as a bag as part of my collection because it truly is worn as a bag. All right, guys, well, that's it for my bag collection for 2021. I will try to film one later on in the year to see like how things have changed, if anything's been added or taken away. But if you have any questions or want any specific you know, detailed reviews on any of these bags, just leave me a comment below. And as always, I'm super responsive on Instagram. Like reach out to me there. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I will talk to you on the next video.